got done watching Impulse with William Shatner, the uh, film directed by William Griffey, and it is here at the Tampa Theater, and we're going to walk over here and talk to some people that are standing over here. We're actually going to make this for Rising Star Magazine, too. We're going to put it up on the website, so uh, we can tell a little about it, find out some of the people here. I see just behind my camera guy, Steve-O, is um, Chris Woods and Bob Glazer over there. So we're going to go over there and, and talk to them and see what they think. All right, come with us. Hey, everybody. It's Joel Weinke. We're here at the Tampa Theater. We just saw Impulse by William Griffey, and we got some... Film goers here, Mr. Bob Glazer, Chris Woods, and we got Ashley Lynn Caputo. Now, how did you all enjoy it today? It was good. I, I liked it. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. Yes, excellent. Yeah. It's cool scene, Shatner. Now, what about, I, I had a little uh, thing there. I came out right after the movie and I said, that was the evil Captain Kirk from episode 64. Because he was, he was a bad guy. Yeah, I know. Is that the first time you ever played a bad guy? I don't, and that well, was right after Star Trek, too. Yeah. So. Well, he was a bad guy in the uh, intruder from Rock and Roll. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, yeah. Was that done before? That was done. That after. was in the '60s, early '60s. Well, that was before. Yeah. Yeah. So Ashley Lynn, a rising star, of Tampa Bay. Tell us a little bit about Ashley Lynn. Oh, always busy. Always enjoy the scene here with great friends. Joel Weinstein, Bob Glazer, fellow co-actor, director, Chris Wood. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yes, this is the uh, Joel Winding Table. Kathy and I are here at uh, Impulse, and she's here at the Tampa Theater. And we had a great time. And how were sales? Looks like you sold um, a lot. Well, yeah. That I'm was back. Cool. That was two of everything. You're that good. You are I'm that good. good. You sold a lot of movies. That was cool. There was two of demons out there. There were two bloodlusts. There were two twisted lips. That's good, baby. There were two brain jacks. You sold a book. That's great. And that's all here at the Tampa Theater. Now, did you enjoy seeing it? Did you? Alright, I, I enjoyed that. Oh, sorry everybody. Sorry. And we got Steve-O from Creations To Go. He's been shooting all day. He's been down there on the floor. Yes, working hard. And yeah, I think he shot some of the movie and he did the question and answer and then we went around. Kind of for Rising Star Magazine. So we'll put this up on Facebook. So we'll have the magazine out and some video. So we have both. So you did good here. Did you have fun? I did. Alright. All right. Thank you, everybody. And Joel Michael again here for Rising Star Magazine. We have Mr. Andy Lolino. Andy, tell us how you put this whole event together. Well, I did. Uh, we did uh, a similar type of event last year on November 15th called Satan's Children. It was a, a movie in celebration of Tampa Bay filmmaking. Uh, that was a big success here at the Tampa Theater. And we decided to do another Tampa, uh, made in Tampa film, which turned out to be Impulse. So uh, William Griffey was a good friend of mine. And we decided to just go ahead and do this and invite uh, William Griffey and Roger Sherman and Joel Hosted again this year. Mm -hmm. And we just had a great time. It's a big success. We're very happy. Yes, it was, and it went off good. It absolutely did. Yeah, was I okay on stage? You. you were beautiful on stage. All right, thank you. I was, I'm always afraid I'm going to forget stuff. <laughs> but I got to do my William Shatner. You were great. William Shatner. I specifically told Joel, you have to do your William yes. Shatner impersonation or it wouldn't be complete. And I didn't do the long one. The long one was, yes. But like the poor Marks in the yard, you keep missing the target. You'll have to come down here, Con. You'll have to come down here. I didn't do that one. I did the one that they run on MeTV where he goes, Peace or utter destruction, it's up to you. This is, and you have to get through some of your moves, tough jerk moves, too. Just a couple of judo. Wait. I don't know if I can do any. I don't know if I can. I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's Joel Wykup again. We're here again at the beautiful Tampa Theater. We have William Griffey here. We showed Impulse with William Shatner. Bill, it has been absolutely just has been a blast having you here. Uh, talk with, we talked on the phone when you're driving through Lauderdale traffic, right, right. which will just make you pull your hair out. That's why I have no hair back there, because of traffic. I'm driving a truck oh, okay. for 20 years. That's why I had to retire. Tell us a little bit about Impulse, and just tell us a little oh, okay. bit about William Griffey. Well, uh, you know, uh, this is the first film I uh, shot in Tampa, and back in those days, uh, Impulse uh, was uh, really uh, public, went crazy when the film was going on. And, but anyway, we were able to secure the shot for the film, and we used Ruth Roman, who had just starred with uh, Alfred Hitchcock and The Strangers on a Train. Oh, yeah. And Harold uh, Jobs and Donna, who was the big Oriole. So uh, we uh, ended up uh, with people in Tampa who were very, very uh, cooperative and enjoyed us being there. We sure appreciate it. Uh, showing up. Good. Me too. It's a great turnout. We had a nice turnout. you got to tell that story real quick about Shatner. You guys were looking for a name and... Well, you're you know, ready to go to LA, right? Yeah, the uh, producer and I were going to fly uh, early in Los Angeles, looking for a you know, uh, name actor. And we're walking yeah. through the Miami airport, and here comes Shatner. <laughs> and I said, Stop the name, there's Shatner, stop it. So we stopped him and ended up getting the, uh, the script to him and set him down. And uh, I think we had a cup of coffee and all, he read the script. So anyway, we made a deal with him right in the airport and saved some bucks by not going to L.A. Yeah, that's a great story. Well, Bill, thank you so much. Thank you for being here, coming to Tampa Theater, coming to the Tampa area, showing us impulse and giving us some great memories. Well, I appreciate you guys having me. It was great having you. Thank you so much. Thank you. William Griffey for Rising Star Magazine. Hey, it's Joel Wankup again here at the Tampa Theater. Look who we ran into. Jimmy, how's it going? Good, good. Hey, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, tell us your whole name and tell us how we first met. My name is Jimmy Wright. I met Joel Wankup at uh, 
Scream Fest. Scream Fest. Uh, and it was when they were 2004. They, they were promoting Scary Tales Part One. Yep. One and two, I think. What? Let's do. I think there's both of them. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was a late bloomer in my Joel fandom. But uh, yeah, and uh, I recognized him from Rod. It took a minute for it to sink in because I was watching Scary Tales playing on their monitor and I had to get a copy of it because it looked so amazing and enthralling and action-packed that I just made my way over to the Scary Tales booth. I had to get a copy of it. And then as soon as I saw him in person, I said, you're the guy from Rod. You're the guy from Rod. And what's your favorite Joel D. Winecoop movie? My favorite Winecoop is Lost Faith. It's got the most action, it's got the most drama, you see Joel at his best, you know, kicking ass, taking names, but you know, I, I'm, I'm, there's somebody here today that's got me questioning if I, whether or not I'm the number one Joel Winecoop fan. Is it? Lonnie, I mean, Lonnie is... Oh, Lonnie? He, yeah. Lonnie is a super fan yeah. too, I don't know. He's, Lonnie, get over here. He's, he's vying for the position of number one Joel Winecoop uh, Lonnie, are you a fan of Joel Winecoop's Lost Faith? Yes, oh, I what's, am. Your, what's your favorite Joel Winecoop movie, Lonnie? Uh, Lost Faith and Creep. Creep? <laughs> I knew he was going to say Creep. Creep is good. Well, I don't know. I don't know if Lonnie has this one or not, but I, have, I actually have the Joel Winecoop issue of Dial H for Heroes. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, comic book. It's a DC comic book. I sent that in when I was 19, and they printed my, my comic. Super bad guy, Interchange, and they printed him in the... You have that? I have that. that. I, I'm just a fan of the comic, and I happened to put it one day, and I was like, that can't be the same Joel B. Weinfeld that I know from Scary Tales. There's no way. That's too much of a coincidence. And then I called you up, and you were like, yeah. Well, that's me. But you told me that, that, that they misprinted your age. Yeah, they did. They put uh, Joel Weinfeld 9 instead of 19. I was, when I sent that in, I was driving for FEC News, I think, at the time. But yeah, I did that character up, sent it to DC really? Comics, signed their little thing of to sign it over if they did something with it. And then um, Carmen Infanio is the one that uh, drew it. That's a piece of history too. Yeah, man. that's one of my favorite issues yeah. for sure. Oh, that's cool. it was all. It was even. It was that much better when uh, one of my heroes was was creating characters for it. <laughs> and a bunch more. It was my yeah. first nine comic. I don't yeah. have any, but that's got all nine of those superheroes. That's excellent. Did yeah. Interchange is in there? No, Interchange oh, isn't in there. Interchange okay. is owned now by DC Comics. Cor he, he's gone corporate, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to get that next. I, I do. Of course I not. To. There you I go. Absolutely. Will. Yeah. Well, all right. Jimmy Wright, Lonnie Dolan, we're all here at the Tampa Theater and having a good time. Yeah. Did you enjoy Impulse? Oh, it was great. Yeah. Was great. Lonnie, did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. We, I love how many times Shatner bites his pinky. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't think the Romulans can handle this much longer. McCoy, stop your bickering. Well, all right, we're right here, Rising Star Magazine. We're having a good time, and we'll see you folks later.